What specific role does the state have when it comes to immigration and protection of the border? Uh, state, we're currently in a situation where the state is fighting with the federal government on whose authority it is to protect our borders. Now, originally, yes, it is the federal government's job to protect our borders. But if they don't do that, then it's the duty of the state to do it. And so it suddenly becomes our problem. These people are coming into our state. You know, if they're going into Texas, we'll let Texas worry about that. They're coming into Arizona. And uh, I have a lot of friends uh, that, are, that are illegal immigrants, and uh, I sympathize with them wanting to come to a country that's more free than where they came from. I totally sympathize with that. But when they go through the process, the intentionally hard process of letting these people come in legally, it will mean more to them, and we will keep out the criminals that way. And so it is, it is our obligation to protect our borders when the federal government can't. And, uh, and so, you know, it's, I know that this is a heart-wrenching problem for, for all those stories. I read one the other day where a Cuban person, his wife came and half of them died on the ship and she managed to make it here because of a law that says that if you're from Cuba, you can come through Mexico on foot and we'll accept you and those types of things. And then her husband was there waiting for her and they, had, they were kissing and they were, they were reunited as a family and I love to see that. But it sends the wrong message because it, it's government playing on your emotions to try to support, because they want you to support amnesty, because they want you to support illegal immigration. It's still illegal. And uh, the, the, I feel strongly in the traditional, uh, the traditional federal government role of keeping the aliens out.